This is Trey Waynes. Today we're going to go over the back pedal drill. Basically for this drill, um, you know, there's some technique pointers to, uh, you know, help you have success. So what I want to start off by telling you guys first, uh, in a back pedal drill, you want to have a good stance, good low stance. Um, I, pr I prefer, you know, feet a little staggered. So when you have your feet staggered, you want to have a good stance, low posture. Um, you don't want to be too bent over, but you want to be in a good posture, chest up and you want to have your eyes on the receiver's hip. The reason for staring at the receiver's hips is because, you know, that, that's going to tell you where he's going to go. His head and shoulders, that's a lot of, you know, fakes. So, you know, if there's a lot of head movement, shoulder movement, that's not telling you where the receiver's going to go. His hips is going to tell you where you want to go. So when you get in your stance, you want to start by pushing off with your front foot instead of, uh, you know, pushing off with your back because that's false movement. So when you push off with your front foot, you know, you want to gain ground doing it. So you want, like, this is an example of doing it. It's like that. You want to push off with your front foot and, you know, have a good, steady, you know, back pedal through that. So in the middle, of, in your back pedal, uh, try not to have too much arm movement. You know, that's a lot of wasted stuff, but you don't want to have none at all. So you want to have like a good, consistent, uh, steady pace of arm movement. I'm going to demonstrate it at like 50%. So remember, you want to have a good base, you know, get low to the ground, press off with your front foot and have a consistent uh, arm movement while still staring at the receiver's hip because that's going to tell you where he's going to go. A lot of people in their back pedal, they're usually too high and uh, they get on, the, on their heels of their foot and that makes them off balance and unable to react as quickly to the receiver. And that, that kind of looks like this, you know, up high on the heels of your, on, on your heels. So when you're on your heels, you really can't react to the receiver and, you know, you're off balance and that creates separation. So that's what not to do. And then back to what, you know, you should probably do is, you know, on your toes, you know, a good stance, good base, you know, press off with that front foot, consistent arm movement, and just, this is what it is at 50%. Just. So this is my version of the back pedal. Remember, stay low, stay on your toes, and have consistent, steady arm movement, and you should be good.